Hey there, everybody. Oh, look. What's that? I can see a Pokemon over there, but I don't recognize it. Let me just quickly click on it and... Oh, look, it's a new Pokemon. It's a Gen 6 Pokemon called Litleo. Hold on. The first and uh, along with its evolutionary fo with its evolved form, Pyroar, so far the only normal and fire type Pokemon in the entire game. And I just caught it and added it to the Pokedex. As you can see, it's a lion cub, a cub of lions. See, fire and normal. And it's a female, because you can clearly see right down there, the uh, evolved form is the female form. Just like lions, in the real world, the, there's a clear distinction between the male and the female. Obviously, the, uh, the male has a, a long, flowing mane, and uh, the female, well, it doesn't. But in this game in particular, they, uh, they kind of changed the rules a little bit and gave the female um, a mohawk to kind of, you know, still make her look uh, special. I think it could have worked well without that mohawk, but uh, I think the mohawk kind of adds a little bit more of a personality to this Pokemon. Now, why did I, why did I take some time from away from this episode to talk about um, this particular Pokemon evolutionary line? Well, as it happens, uh, a lot of Gen 6 Pokemon have now been added to Pokemon Go, which is great. Uh, yesterday I talked about uh, how Esper was now appearing uh, in uh, One Star Raids, and if you just check this thing for a second, I don't, I don't think it's another Gen 6 Pokemon though. Nope, it's a Hariyama, a Gen 3 Pokemon. But it still makes sense because Gen 6 is when uh, the Gen 3 remakes came out, so it still kind of makes sense. Also, uh, as you can see, this Jigglypuff is here. Uh, before Generation 6, Jigglypuff was a pure normal type Pokemon, but after Generation 6, or rather Gen 6 and onward to this day, Jigglypuff became normal and fairy, which drastically changed uh, its use, or well, more specifically Wigglytuff, the evolved form. Obviously, fairy type Pokemon have been in Pokemon Go pretty much since its inception because it came out years after the fairy type was introduced. But for following the main series games, um, that uh, fairy type didn't exist prior to the Generation 7. So, uh, yeah, Gen 6 Pokemon. Sorry, did I say Generation 7 earlier? Generation 6. That's what I meant. And as you can see, there are, th there are three more G uh, Gen 6 Pokemon, well, technically two, uh, right now. There's this thing, which is a Fletchling and a Chespin, the regional starter of uh, the Kalos region. Let me just quickly check where this Fletchling is. Oh, it's a little bit behind us. Oh, look at that! It's Deerling! In its winter form! You guys remember how much I love Deerling, right? I mentioned it in a previous episode a bunch of times. I love Deerling! And one of the many things I love about this Pokémon is... ...its ability to change its appearance depending on the season. And I caught it. Unfortunately, I don't have enough uh, candy to evolve it into its winter form. But... Quick search. Sorry, winter form. Um, what is this? That's new. Hold on, let me just. Okay, my bad. There it is. Sauceback is the the saucebacks that I have are still in their autumn form. I guess it's not like the main series game where they just change their appearance. Um, Depending on the season, in this game, on, uh, on the other hand, they stay the same, uh, in the same form as when you caught them. Interesting change. I guess it's all part of the uh, introduction of the seasons 
thing in this game. Now, uh, if you take a look at this, there's some uh, Kala Celebration event, which means we need to transfer five uh, Pokemon, catch a Fletchling, that's why I'm, uh, I'm putting so much effort into finding one, and give my body a treat. Okay, let's go ahead and do the first two. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of the dealing or the Lidleo. Just getting rid of these five random Pokemon that I caught earlier. And that's the first thing you needed to do. Now... Oh, look at that! Agron has a gift for me. Plus... I think there's a special bonus uh, that we'll get to see in just a second. Oh good, it gave me some berries so that I'll have something to feed it with. If I just click over here... Huh. For some reason I thought... Um, a... Uh, a Smeargle was going to appear. I don't know, I, I saw someone catching a Smeargle today. Guess I have been mislaid. But, never mind. Let me just quickly... Yeah, I want to get out of this place because it's too dark. Why am I still recording in the dark? Well, the usual story. Me and my dad were working today. Came up with a bunch of new ideas for Pokemon from my uh, fan-made region. There you go, that's three, uh, um, three uh, treats. Pretty sure I've got most if not all of the uh, legendary guardians for my game uh, figured out but still need some some more fine tuning on that anyways whoop there it is there's fletchling fletchling let's catch it hope it doesn't give us too much trouble fletchling the uh Regi first stage regional bird of the Kalos region evolves into Fletchinder, which is flying and fire, and then eventually into uh, Talonflame, also fire and flying. There we go. It's normal flying for some reason, just like most, if not all, of the legendary of the uh, the regional birds. And uh, well, that's the first thing we needed to catch. I guess we can try to the find the look for this chest bin. Ooh. Okay, we got a medal for catching five Kalos Pokemon. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, where is that chest bin? Hmm. Let me just check again. That's way too far away for my taste. No way I'm going that far far just for a freaking chest bin. Okay. Cancel that. Apparently Agron has another gift for me, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and take it. Well just for the record, as you may have noticed, oh it gave me a stretchy spring. How nice. As you may have noticed, um Oops, my bad, sorry. The, um, the Fletchling and the Lilio weren't the only Kalos Pokemon that I've registered in my Pokedex today. If you go over here to the uh, Kalo, Kalos Pokedex, I also got a Finnegan and a Bunnelby. And that's on top of the, uh, um, the Esper that I caught yesterday. See? Fennekin, the fox Pokemon. Technically, it's a Fennec fox, but who's counting? And I didn't catch a Froakie, but I did see one. Someone definitely caught one and put it in a gym. And there's Bonnelby, the digging Pokemon, the regional first early root uh, rat, oh, sorry, rodent type Pokemon of the... Uh, a Kalos region, Fletchling, the regional bird, Lidleo, uh, a random fire type I suppose, 
and Espor, a random psychic type, which I did actually catch both uh, the male and the female ones, and once I have enough uh, candy to evolve them, I'll uh, be able to uh, get both versions of these Pokemon, which should be nice. We Those I can at least show you one, uh, the ones that I did catch. Right, this Poliwag. I'm gonna stand over here because it's well lit in. Sorry, way too early for that joke. There we go, there's the dealing. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I also, I also found this shiny uh, centret earlier today, adding up to the, uh, the shiny centret that I got a few days ago. Uh, where else? There's the Bonnelby. Nice Bonnelby. There's the Fennekin. Kind of nice. Fennekin looks cute. Can't really say the same about its evolved forms. Wait, that's it? Guess so. Anyways, let's move on. First of all, let's start off with this Kalos event. Apparently we're getting some Mega Energy. I'm not sure what Pokemon that belongs to, but... Hold on. Huh. They weren't very specific about that. Oh, catch a little Leo. Well, that's bad timing for you. Could have, I could have just waited with the little Leo. That I, I didn't, know, I didn't know I was supposed to catch a little Leo. Okay, I was more focused on the uh, fledgling, and now I can't find a little Leo. Can't even find one in raids. And another interesting fact, though, I've noticed that Mega Obama Snow was now appearing in raids. Is that the, uh, the Mega Energy that I got just now? Hmm. Okay, there's no reason for me to keep trying to catch this stupid fancy. Uh, let's try this new searching method. That's interesting, okay. Normal, Kanto, Hatch, Legendary, Shiny, Traded, can evolve. Numbers. And can Mega Evolve. What's that? Huh. I have no idea what that means. Or that. No idea what those search systems are. But let's, let's just check this out. Okay. I doubt it was a Pidgeot. Because I know what the Mega Evolution energy looks like. That's all I have that can Mega Evolve. Hold on. Let's go with Kanto for a second. Why is there only one for Kanto and not any of the other ones? Seems kind of unfair, but I mean... Business in you as usual in Kanto, I suppose. Where... Are my Squirtles? There's one. Nope, definitely not that Mega Energy. Hold on. Let's try Shiny. Hold on. Definitely not a Bomber Snow. What else can Mega Evolve though? With those specific colors. Is it? Hold on. Let me just try this again. Well, Lucario can't evolve yet, can't Mega Evolve yet. What else can Mega Evolve? Let's try the shiny one again. I think I might have an idea this time. Blah, 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 blah. I think I have to go way back for this one. Where is it? There it is. Well, it's not Maynetric. 
What is it? Oops. Interesting. Guess I'm gonna have to try to figure that out myself later. But let's also do this because it gives us the weekly uh, reward thing. Let's open this. Let's see what this, what the new uh, reward for this month is. Sin or stone is nothing bad to have. And start encounter a Lapras. How nice. Whee! Perfect timing. Come to think of it, I probably should have used something stronger than an Ultra Ball, than a Pokeball. Because, yep. Lapras is notoriously difficult to catch. And I'm going to use the Silver Pineapple Theory because I need lots of Lapras candy. I have a perfect IV Lapras. Okay, excellent throw with the silver pineapple berry, and I caught it. Nice, very nice. Wait, hold on. Excellent throws are worth 2,000 XP right about now. Well, that's weird. And since when does silver pineapple berry give seven candy? That's new. Hmm. Ooh, a Durant. I think that's the first time I've seen a wild Durant in this game. Usually they only hatch from eggs. But still, I'm not complaining. Anything else? Nope, apparently not. Nothing new over here. Guess I just need to catch up with Leo. And hopefully figure out what the uh, best mega energy is from. Yeah, the Froki is way too far away from my taste. Something that I did notice today, which is kind of interesting. And I guess I could show it before uh, finishing this episode. First of all, I need to get rid of some stuff. Got way many, way too many TMs. Need to use up some of them. Hold on. I suppose I can get rid of some Pokeballs. Because I need all the other things. Let's get rid of 150. And about a hundred of these great balls. I'm not even using great balls anymore. I can just get rid of 120 instead of 100. And why not? Okay, let's spin the Poké Stop. Gotta fortify this area. I noticed someone tried to uh, take down. You know, someone is trying to take down the gym. Hold on. Someone just took over that gym over there. Okay, I'm gonna try to. Ah. Well, at least it's a Trico. And I'll say it again. The um. Gen 6, uh, the Gen 3 remakes came out during Generation 6, so it makes sense why we have uh, the Gen 3 starters are suddenly more uh, frequently appearing. I keep forgetting that Trico is the hardest Pokemon to catch in this game. Okay, maybe not the hardest Pokemon to catch in the game, but it's the, it's the hardest of the, of the starters. Period. I mean, so far the Pokemon that gave me the most amount of problems trying to catch it are Pansiers. But Trico is a close second. Okay. There we go. A Trubbish. A piece of garbage Pokemon. Literally, it's a bag of trash. Shaped like a dust bunny. 
However, if you catch it, something pretty interesting that I've noticed today, and it didn't really occur to me up until this point, if you catch a trubbish, it's worth 750 stardust. Like, was that always like this? Or did I just, or did they change it for the event? Okay, this guy thinks he can take over these uh, lovely red gems. Not on my watch, you're not. Yeah. It's only weakness is ground because it's poison and dark. Not sure where the dark type comes in, but it's definitely poison. I guess it probably should have been poison fairy. Or poison psychic or something like that. Or just poison, but then again the whole point of regional forms is to change the typing, so keeping it poison just wouldn't have been would just wouldn't have worked. Actually come to think of it. Normal poison would have worked just fine for this Pokemon. But um normal but poison and dark it's just not a good fit okay this thing wasn't an issue at all it's gonna have to beat it one more time and then after that i guess we can call it a night yeah i mean it's it's been out here long enough and i did say i wanted these episodes um to be shorter this definitely falls under the category of shorter episodes plus we've done a lot this episode i mean I, I i showed you guys my first the first few uh um what is wrong with the game i showed you all my first few uh gen 6 pokemon today uh not including the esper that i caught yesterday And uh, I got to explain a little bit about uh, the Gen 6 stuff. Um, let's put... Let's put the Leo just to show off, you know. Yeah, why not? I got some time. Plus, it's another Pokemon that that only has one weakness, which is ground. As you can see, I'm very well equipped to handle these types of Pokemon. I like the uh, the confetti stuff coming down from the sky to celebrate the event. Of course, this thing has a fighting type move. Still, went down with no problem. Again. going to be a little bit tougher because my uh, Rhyperior's fast attack is a rock type move which doesn't do as much damage to an electric type but I think we managed pretty well all right one more I think Mammoth Swine can pretty much take it up with no problem That's all there is to it. We need this gym. With flying colors. 
Okay, let's add one of our peeps. And let's put the shiny centric, just to flex. Well, that's it, I suppose. That's everything we could have done for today. Um, I suppose I'll see you all tomorrow. Hopefully, in a reasonable hour, we can go around the neighborhood and try to find some of the uh, newly added Gen 6 Pokemon. Hopefully, we'll have more luck tomorrow than we had tonight. Again, like I said earlier, had to work with my dad, and that pretty much took most of the day away from me. But, I... Well, uh, no, actually, uh, tomorrow... Tomorrow I'm meeting up with my mom. Uh, we have to take our, her new dog to a vet. You know, again, just to flex. Shiny Whizcash. <laughs> but, yeah, like I, like I said... Uh, tomorrow... Tomorrow my mom is bringing her new dog and we have to take it to the vet. But... I suppose... I suppose I'll have enough time to uh, uh, record an episode tomorrow. Just have to find the, the right time for it. But anyways, like I said, this, uh, this is where we, we bring another episode to a close. So, uh, thank you for keeping up. And I'll see you tomorrow for some more... Uh, Gen 6 Pokemon shenanigans. Goodbye for now. A shiny Teddy Orsa! Whoa! Awesome! I'm so glad I didn't I didn't turn off the camera! Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Just switch to an ultra ball. Uh, I don't know, it's a Teddy Orsa. These things can be tough. I don't want to take a chance. Wow, I was about to close the camera! Oh, what a way to start the month! Ooh. Awesome! Look at this thing! This thing is adorable and beautiful! You know, green shinies don't normally work for all the Pokémon, but I think t Shiny Teddy Ursa pulls it off beautifully. That's nice. That's a great color, and that's my second shiny today. You know, uh, yesterday I complained that I'm only going to... By, by the way, hold on, let me just sh quickly shiny check all these Pokemon, just to make sure. Okay, the Aron isn't shiny. Neither is the Makuhita. Or this Jigglypuff. Or the Grimer. Or this Jigglypuff. I'm not sure that that uh, Hoot Hoot can be shiny, but let me just quickly check. Okay, so none of these are shiny. Okay, we can move on. Uh, which one do I want to catch? I don't know. Grimer, I guess. Anyways, so yeah, yesterday I complained that uh, my uh, shiny reactions video for uh, last month only had like four reactions in it and all of four of them were from the uh the community day well whatever happens this month at least i finally have my at least i have my first shiny reaction in a couple of weeks so uh that's a good way to start well now goodbye everybody and see you all tomorrow good night Hello again everybody! I really hope you enjoyed this video, cause I really enjoyed making it. So if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So until next time guys, I'll see you guys next time.